Hi, hi everyone at Melody Festival with the three beautiful hosts. Can I maybe ask you to introduce yourself, guys? Uh, my name is Sarah Dornfeiner. My name is Helena Bergstrom. And I'm Gina Dirovi. And I would like to know how does it feel now to be approaching the end of this adventure? It feels a bit sad. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't We've had fun. Yes. Wasn't it exhausting? It be, it's been so much fun and so much fear in the beginning when we make this. We haven't done this before and now we're standing here in the end and we are quite sad that it is finishing now actually because it's been so, such a fun journey. But everything has been organized so well. I mean, even the outfits. I mean, whose idea was it to um, dress up so nicely if everything is in a beautiful harmony? Uh, at the end uh, show, we decided to uh, to basically uh, actually sew and design a new outfit, so the finale would feel even a little more special. So, a Swedish designer called Camilla Tulin uh, is, is the designer of these dresses, and whatever this is called, the glitter pants dress. Yeah. When I met you like two years ago, I asked you would you come back and would you come back to Melody Festival? You said probably no. Um, this is long. It takes longer than being on stage for three minutes. Yeah. Is it more nerve-wracking than singing a song? Uh, sure, absolutely, in very many ways, because it's something I've never done before, and it's a really hard job. And we're on stage approximately every three minutes uh, for six weeks. Uh, but um, it's a whole diff different experience, and and even now I, I <laughs> I'm very happy for all of them. But uh, it's a hard thing they're doing. It's really hard to compete. Uh, We've been able to enjoy this journey without anyone having to go home at the end of the show, which has been a thrill. Um, so, no, I, I've loved hosting, and I'm, I'm, I was happy when I was singing too. So I was very happy with those tears, but I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Great. You probably have become friends with many artists. Is it not difficult to remain neutral at the end? I don't think so, no. because, you know, like when you talk to them, you don't think about that they're doing a performance or anything so you just want the best for everyone and you always get sad when someone leaves because you want everyone to win but it, it can't be like that but still you know you don't think about it like that can we hear maybe your predictions for tomorrow night no no, no. <laughs> no. but you do have no. a favorite uh, i have to say though I, this is a year of, of good candidates for your vision and i think sweden will be very proud regardless of the whatever top five favorites that the arena had tonight. I think all of them would represent Sweden very well. And it's a good year for Eurovision. It's a good year for this show. It's been a, we've had a six amazing weeks. People have actually really watched the show this year. They've been really kind to us and the artists have also made quite a, a breakthrough on the charts in Sweden. So it's a good year. It's a great part of the population is following these events. Do you know where this excitement comes from? You have to compare to other countries where not many people are watching your vision. I think it is because it's, it's foremost, I must say, a television show that we can gather around and that these songs are not just the winner, that all many of the songs become huge hits in this country. And it, 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 I think we need to have something to kind of sit and think and we think so much and we vote and we have yeah, opinions about everything and that's what I think is the, the big issue with this program in this country. So the Eurovision as such is, is, not, is not the same as the Melody Festival in Sweden uh, because that is like our gathering you can say. Would you, when you see this vibe in the hall, would you maybe consider coming back and you maybe make the, the new coming have an entry in order to participate in the future? Uh, what do you mean? Do would you like to come back now that you see this to, to vibe? To host the show? No, no, I mean as a singer. Uh, Even though uh, you said no two years ago. No, I'm still saying no. Still I might change my mind in a few years' time, but no. Not even as a songwriter? Oh yeah, absolutely as a songwriter. I'll, I'll write a song for her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll do that if she wants to sing it and I'll 
write a song with her. Okay, I thought it was going to be a project. Yeah. Oh, no, no, well, I, I hope that she makes a lot of music. So, so the last question, what are you going to do on Sunday when everything is over? Sleep and eat. Sleep and eat a lot. I wear, like, tight clothes, so you eat. I just want to eat. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play the theater. Oh, really? You want performances? Sunday evening, I'm going to play a performance. Okay. Yeah. And what about you, Sarah? Uh, I'm going to sleep, and for the first time in six weeks, probably sleep more than about six and a half hours, and then uh, have lunch, and then uh, probably go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. But upcoming projects uh, for next year? Um, for this year, I'm doing a Swedish album that's going to be out in the, this winter, and then I'm doing a lot of interesting secretive projects in other areas that I'll tell you about another time. Well, the very best of luck for tomorrow night. Thank have you. fun enjoying, have a ball. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.